Hey, Logan, did you hear you're going to be in a movie with Deadpool? What? No! <laughs> Hello there, I'm Photo Dave, and this is Toy Picks, a channel dedicated to helping you and helping me get a whole lot better at our action figure photography. So if that sounds cool to you, go ahead and click subscribe while I describe what's going on in this video. And I'm going to do it quick because I'm in a squat and ouch. Anywho, one thing I've never talked about on this channel when it comes to the action figure photography are the things I think about when I'm getting ready to shoot a picture. So I thought I'd introduce some of that, show you guys a little bit about the area, all the stuff I'm thinking, talk to you a little bit about the picture I'm shooting today, all that good stuff, and well, that's it, because my legs hurt. Let's get to it. The first thing I really think about when it comes to getting ready to take any shot is the surroundings that all this stuff is in, and as you can see, there's a whole lot of light coming in here, and that's not a good thing. So, my solution was to wrap this thing with poster board all the way around it so that it would block any light from coming in. Obviously, it's not a perfect system, and once I'm out of here and in my place, there's a room that I have that's a lot deeper so that light doesn't travel as far and it's got a smaller window, so that'll be perfect. But if you're trying to take shots, I would recommend probably one of the better places is a room that doesn't have windows, or if it does have windows, using some blackout curtains. All right, so that's a little bit of the environment I thought about. Let's get to some other stuff. As you can imagine, quite a bit of thought goes into when exactly the subject of the picture is gonna be. And for today's pick, it's gonna be mostly highlighting Wolverine as he has just found out that he has to be in a movie with Deadpool. He's not happy, don't worry. And guess who gets to deliver the news to him? This guy. I've been really serious with my photos, and I thought, let's have some fun. Let's get a little goofy. So it's going to be a little bit of uh, maybe a little Abbott and Costello between these two. Maybe a little bit of, uh, oh, what's the one? The Odd Couple. Something like that. Just having a little more fun with Cyclops and Wolverine in the photos. and Really just having more fun with some of these characters in general. But don't worry, there will still be some other serious photos because I have to have action and a little more fun. Other things I have to think about beyond what the subject of the photo is going to be are lighting. Obviously, I'm going to, with Wolverine being the main subject of it, I'm going to make sure that he is kind of backlit a little bit with a little bit of front lighting. I'm going to diffuse some of the light. It's not going to be harsh or anything, but you want to separate the main focus of the picture from the background, from the foreground, all that. You want to make sure that Everybody knows that's the focus of the shot. At least I do. So remember, these are just things that I think about. Obviously, I've got the Wolverine and Cyclops parts there. I also have some wood paneling. One of the tricks that I learned recently is to kind of put your fingers maybe a little bit along the edges of the lens to make them so that there's a little bit of fuzziness around the edges. And you'll see that when I shoot this picture. But something else I might do it's use some of that wood paneling. Also, that wood paneling will probably be used in the foreground. You might not even be able to tell it's wood paneling, but one of the things I think about when it comes to these photos is making sure there's a pretty convincing background, which obviously High School Creations has done that just fine. Check him out. I'll make sure and leave a link to his stuff in the description below. And then you've got the background, you've got that, you've got the midground usually, which is the subject of the photo. But then you've got just all this stuff that I have to kind of throw in the front just in case it needs more. My iPad I use as a lighting source. My Yeti I will use to stand the iPad up if need be. And this old school Batman Forever glass. Those things last forever. I will use to use to stand up the iPhone if needed for an additional light source. So that's what we've got going on there. Things I need to think about where all that is concerned. And I think now, let's set it up so I can kind of show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go as far as characters are concerned. 
Now, I've got Wolverine obviously having just been told that he's going to be in a movie with Deadpool. Not too happy. Cyclops walking away. He's pretty geeked that he got to deliver that message. And now one thing I have to think about after posing them, obviously I've got several things to think about, but one that I'm thinking about right now is am I going to go landscape or am I going to go portrait? Now, for those of you who don't know the difference, portrait is taller than it is wide and landscape is wider than it is tall. So there's your difference. I'm going landscape on this and to do that, I'm going to use a 75 to 300 millimeter lens. It just brings in the background a little more so that it can take up a lot more of the picture, which is something that's pretty necessary with a setup like this when it comes to wanting to go landscape. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the background and the foreground elements, and then I'll come back after that and tell you why I chose to do each part. Okay, here everything is with the foreground and the background all set up. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is when I do this, I make sure that I look through the lens every step of the way to make sure that everything fits, everything's gonna look good compositionally, by the way, here's where all that is. The camera's way back there. And the cat toys are way back there. So I was looking through that, making sure all this looked good. You can see you use just whatever. That's a clamp that I've got in front of Psych. Those are those wooden planks I talked about. I put the ram right there so there's something else in the extreme foreground. We've got Wolvie's motorcycle that I added. Nothing's ever perfect. Something else I forgot to mention is that Wolvie is that far from the building because I want to make sure that I can backlight him without hitting the building too hard with light. So that's, that's the reason for that. Obviously, Psych is way away from anything. I probably won't hit him with too much light. The light that hits him will be kind of incidental when Wolverine is the main thing, but I'll definitely make it so you can tell this is Psych because he had a lot of fun telling Wolvie that he'd be in a movie with Deadpool. Wolvie, still despondent about that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is lighting this bad boy up. Now here's the image all lit up, looking good. Now remember the point here was to separate out Logan from the picture because he's gonna be the main focus. Psych is just up here, up front here with a little bit of incidental light going on. So the way I lit this was I used one of my Neewear lights and used a blue filter to put in there because I decided nighttime shot. I also used the best nightlight app on my iPad. So that's shining on Wolverine to create a little bit of warmth. I didn't want the picture to be too cool. And then a reflector right here that's going on to Psych. So that's reflecting the blue light from above Logan. Now what I'm gonna do to really separate out Wolvie is I'm gonna use, after I'm done recording here, just before I take the picture, I'm gonna use my cell phone to light him at the top a little bit because when I was looking through the lens, he's blending into the background, just a touch. So I'm gonna use my cell phone to light that up and take the shot. And as soon as I'm done with that, that's the next thing you're gonna see in the video. So, time to shoot. And folks, here it is, straight out of the camera. No real photoshopping work has been done yet. I just threw it in another file that I'm using white bars instead of black bars. I just think it looks cleaner. Now, I wasn't gonna show you much as far as Photoshop, because honestly, I'm not gonna do a lot when it comes to Photoshop. But one thing I couldn't do is something I brought up earlier, which is where I talked about maybe putting my fingers just right in front of the lens. And the reason you do that is to add just a little more of an interesting something in the extreme foreground. Kind of just, just that little added something extra. So because I had to hold my phone, over Wolvie's head here and his shoulder and all that to make sure he separates from the background. I couldn't really do that because I was up on the image and the camera was way in the back taking the picture. So I thought I'd show you real quick that same type of effect. It's just I would have rather done it in the camera, but just didn't happen this time, maybe next time. So what I did was I set the feather to 255 and we're gonna grab a color here. I don't know. Let's grab, let's grab a warmer color. Let's grab this brown color off of Wolverine. We'll just add a layer. 
And because that's set to 255, it's just going to be a little bit of fuzz just along the edge. I'm not going to do a lot of it. So we've got some there. We don't want to obscure Cyclops too much, but he is kind of a tool, so maybe it's not so bad. So I did that. We'll see how this looks just as a kind of a test. If this isn't the final, that's okay. You'll see the final for today's pick. So here's that. We'll try with a foreground color, see what it looks like. And yeah, it just adds that little something extra. I'm not sure about it there. Let's make this a multiply. That does a little something for it. Maybe that does a little okay. Color dodge. There's all kinds of ways we could do this. It's probably not one that I dig too much. I'll probably do something else. But that was the idea behind putting something in the extreme foreground right up on the lens, is to give you just that little more interesting something in the front. Although, right here, it just doesn't really add anything. So I might do more. I might not. We'll see what happens. Anywho, that's the picture straight out of the camera. And that, ladies and gentlemen was that. Comment below and let me know, do you think about the same things I think about when it comes to your action figure photos? Do you think about things that I don't think about that might help me? Because remember, this channel is about helping all of us. And also, did what I say as far as how I think help you at all? Like I said, let me know. Now, way back when, which wasn't really all that way back when, I asked all of you what you thought about me talking about model kits on the channel. Now, the answer is overwhelmingly positive. I appreciate it. I asked it on Twitter as well and all that. People are pretty stoked about that kind of thing, which I found cool. But let me show you why I asked about that. I am constantly looking for things that my niece could get into. She's into dolls, but she's also into puzzles and she's into kind of figuring out how things work. And so I thought this might be something cool for her. So I found the 30 Minute Sisters line, which I think she'll dig. I think she'll be a fan of. Now, I'm not going to talk about this because she's going to help me put it together, but that's not going to be till around Thanksgiving. So it's going to be a while before I do this. I also got her... Let's see, these are some black hands and white hands. This figure's black, so she'll use those. And some armor pieces. So pretty cool stuff, and that's why I wondered, is because, hey, I found something my niece could dig, but then I started looking at 30-minute mission stuff, I've been looking at model stuff in the stores. So in addition to what I said earlier, comment below with your favorite one 1 44th scale model kits. Because I've been looking at those. I've been looking at those 30-minute missions. I was looking at some Gundam. I think they're cool. I think they might be something I want to get into even before I show this off to the niece. Yeah. As always, I'll be sure to leave links to everything you saw in the video today in the video description below. So click on those. If you pick up something, I appreciate it. Those are affiliate links. Those help out the channel just as much as the fact that you guys all stick around and keep watching this content. I thank you. Without you, I'm not sure I'd be having nearly as much fun. So thanks a ton, and until next time, have fun, and happy snapping. See ya.